Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Weekly Way, your weekly devotional commentary on the Torah, half Torah, and Brit Kadesha portion. Today, we are in Parasha or Torah portion number 26, which is Shemini, which means eighth, and it's taken from Leviticus chapter 9, verse 1, all the way to chapter 11, verse 47. Now, in Leviticus chapter 10, verse 16, it reads, Then Moses inquired carefully. That phrase, inquired carefully, is very important to our Torah portion. Then Moses inquired carefully about the male goat of the sin offering, but it had already been burned up. He was angry with Eleazar, Ithamar, Aaron's surviving sons, and asked, and dot, 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 we'll just stop right there, because we want to focus in on inquired carefully. In the Hebrew, it is darash darosh, so it's two very similar words, but it means to study, to investigate, to question, to inquire, to dig deep, to, to get the answer. So to inquire carefully, darash darosh. So basically, sometimes asking the same question over and over, even in different ways, it's not being a pest or obsessive compulsive, but it's being a good Talmud. It's being a good student or a good disciple of the word, just to make sure you heard the answer clearly and correctly. And this is exactly what Leviticus 10.16 means, and it's exactly the halfway point in our Torah reading, as if a small cue to spurn us on and encourage us not to get tired and to complete the rest of the Torah reading cycle. So this is the exact halfway point in our Torah portion readings. Um, we are to darash darosh, to uh, inquire diligently the word of God, uh, to make sure that when we read it, we understand it correctly. And when we understand it correctly, we're able to apply it to our lives correctly and live it out correctly. Uh, because as the Brit Karesha says, that those teachers will fall under a greater judgment because we're responsible uh, to teach the word correctly and make sure that uh, it's understood correctly. Uh, you know, we're going to be punished more harshly because if we uh, give a false interpretation or teach somebody wrong on the word of God. So, we need to make sure, not only as teachers, but as students, that we darash darosh, that we investigate, that we inquire diligently uh, the Word of God to make sure that we have everything correct. Now, in our half Torah portion, which is 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 1 through 17, and I'll let you guys read that on your own, just like Samuel pestering Eli, thinking that Eli called him, he was just making sure he didn't miss a summons or a command to serve. Same here in our half Torah portion, David inquires whether he should build the temple for Adonai, and we find out it's his son Solomon that will fulfill this task. Now, in our Brit Kresha portion, we find a group called the Bereans, who diligently inquired to see what Rav Shul said was true or not. So they didn't take the Apostle Paul, Rav Shul, at his word when he taught. They said that they heard what he had to say, and then they spent the rest of the week until the next Sabbath researching and picking apart and tearing apart what Rav Shul said and looking in the Torah and the Tanakh for what he said to make sure what he was teaching was true and correct. And Paul encouraged them to do that. We see this in Acts chapter 17, verses 10 and 11. And even Rav Shaul, the Apostle Paul, exhorts his Talmud, his student, his disciple Timothy, to do this very thing also in 2 Timothy uh, 2.15. And that's our Torah, half Torah, and Brit Kadesha portions for this week. Thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great week. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Shalom, everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and I'm the founder of Abrahamsdescendants.com. You know, as believers in Messiah Yeshua, we do our best to live as the first century believers lived, yet in an acceptable 21st century way. And we also desire to walk in the footsteps of Yeshua, our Messiah, by walking in the, and following in the Torah. And one of the foundational core things that helps us accomplish this is Bible study, Torah study. And we have a tradition in Messianic Judaism to study the five books of Moses throughout the year. 
through the Torah portions. And with these Torah portions, there are sections of the prophetic writings that link up to the subject matter of the particular Torah portion for that week. And as believers in Messiah Yeshua, we also include readings from the Brit Chadesha, otherwise known as the New Testament. So each week, we have a Bible study going through the Torah and a portion of the prophets and a portion of the renewed covenant. So within a year, we can cover the majority of scriptures. And these are the foundational scriptures that we try to apply to our heart and to our life and to our mind that we try to walk out daily. And I would like you to join me each week on my website, abrahamsdescendants.com. Under the Torah portion tab, I have a written commentary of every Sabbath's Torah portion of the Torah portion, the half Torah portion, which is the portion from the prophetic writings, and the Brit Chadesha portion, which is a uh, commentary from the Renewed Covenant Scriptures, the New Testament Scriptures. And also, I try to make a weekly video commentary of those exact same Torah portions. So join me each week and increase your learning and increase your faith and increase your knowledge and increase your ability to walk out the Torah as Messiah did in the in a 21st century way. Hey guys, thanks so much. Shalom. Shavuotov.